My name is Ehsan Kusari. I'm originally from Iran. I make Centur, which is similar uh, instrument to uh, Hammer Dulcimer in West. Um, pretty much are very close uh, as far as the structure, but it's a quite a different between these two instruments as far as quality of the uh, uh, sound and then the way that you're making it. When I was in Iran, um, I, I heard that um, somebody was playing um, to the radio and the sound uh, became very fascinated. And I made a small um, sound tool about that size. I had no knowledge about how, what the sound is like. So I went and bought some uh, string from store and I put it back. I didn't know what kind of string was it. So I made a hammer with a wood uh, to start sanding it to make it look like a palette and start playing. It had some kind of sound, but nothing very close to what I <laughs> had in my mind. So. I left Iran to come over to uh, pursue my education, so I brought that Santu along with me. It's about 1989, we start making it little by little, and then we start building one after another, we find a mistake from one, and second one we improve at this time, and after making about uh, 40, 50 boxes, still we are trying to, trying to uh, improve uh, the quality of the box and the quality of our instrument. My aim to make the instrument for pretty much so-called professional player that they could actually, you know, to appreciate uh, the quality of the sound, not just the box. I get the wood and I bring it to my um, shop and and I paint it for. Um, the desired effect that I need. We drill the hole here, we drill the hole over here for um, for tuning pen, and we, they, are, they have to be exact and the same measurement. So we do it before we, before we frame it. And in this particular one here, it's a, there is no nail being used, it's all gluting. So it, it, it makes it structurally very sound, so it won't give up, you know, so it's a being forced. And then after this stage, uh, then we start putting a bottom part. The bottom part has to be really hard. And sometimes I use um, maple, but maybe about a quarter of an inch. And then after that, the very critical part of the box that comes that we have to put a top. That top is the main and very, very important part of a box. That's what makes it sound. You glue them together and then you start sanding it, uh, get it really all rough edges and so forth cleaned up and then start putting your tuning pen and start putting a string bridge and start tuning it okay when you when you finish out when you come to that stage the result comes out whether it's good or bad now start tuning it you find out that some of them are very flat some of them are, they are very sharp some of them are very uh, dull and some may not be very good so you try to your job is to start working inside of a box to move the uh, sound post back and forth, back and forth, front and the top, front and back, and uh, you 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 make the perfection one, another one become problem. So you need to work a lot back and forth to make sure that everything works together. You have to have a heart for this particular music as well as this particular uh, instrument to learn. Uh, if if you if your heart is not for music, well, you are not going to go after music. You go to after something else. You know, uh, you got you got to really love uh, music, knowing and how to uh, fix it. That's completely two different story. <laughs>